In this tutorial, we're going to build the use click outside hook. This hook will allow you to detect clicks outside the element, triggering a callback function. Let's dive in. First, let's discuss why do we need that hook. Think of common cases like custom model dialog or your drop down select menu. They all require the ability to close when clicked outside. Hence, a reusable function with React is essential to handle such cases efficiently. To initiate, let's create a separate file called use click outside. And let's start off with the hook declaration. Our hook will receive an elements ref and a callback function to execute. The element ref will be in type of ref object and callback is just a regular function. Then we need to attach a click event listener to our ref element. Then we will attach a click event listener to the element and implement some logic. So let's create use effect. We also need to import it. And here we say document add event listener click and the function to execute each time we click on the element. Let's call it handle click outside. And also don't forget to remove the listener when the component unmounts. After that, we define the handle click outside function, ensuring that the callback is executed only when the click occurs outside the tracked element. This function will receive an event, which is a mouse event. And here we type if element ref current contains the click at element and type of element. And if we've passed the callback function to execute, then we trigger the callback function. And here we need to negate this expression to actually detect clicks outside the element. If we leave it like this, we will detect clicks inside the element, but we need the opposite. We're almost finished. However, as observation reveals an issue, the callback is constantly changing each time it references it. This leads to repetitive addition and removal of event listener, which isn't ideal. To tackle this, let's employ a more robust approach by encapsulating the callback function within the URL's ref and referencing its latest version. So we type const callback ref equals to use ref with type of function and here callback ref that current equals to the callback we passed in our hook. And don't forget about the use effect dependencies. And here we need to import the use ref. And here we need to actually check the callback ref dot current value. And inside the if statement, we execute the callback ref dot current function. In this way, we ensure that the event listener is effectively removed only when necessary. Let's test our hook. In my app component, I have a simple box, which is a div element, and let's run the local dev server to see how it looks like. We're going to attach a ref to our box div element and create a function to log out the click event. So let's type box ref equals to use ref, and let's import it. The default value will be null, and the type of the element is HTML div element. Let's pass down the box ref here, and let's import our new hook here. As you remember, we need to pass the ref object and the callback function to execute. For this tutorial, we'll just console log the click text. Well, let's type click outside. Hit save, open the console. And if we click inside the box, you see that nothing happens. But if we click outside, the console locks the click outside text, which means that our hook works as expected. And even if we would have any nested elements like button element, even if I click that button, you see that the hook is not executing the callback function because the button is inside the box element. And again, if you click outside, it works as it should. That's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps me to stay motivated in the long run. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.